There, Baba. Howdy, Chastity. Coffee or English tea? English tea is fine. Mm, there you go. Sugar? Yes, please. Mm. Milk? No, thank you. <laughs> Man, business is booming around here. This little pub of yours is the most popular hangout in town. I know. I count my blessings every day. If I didn't own this place, I'd hang out here too. You already do. You know, Baba, the secret to running a restaurant is two big things. Ah, uh, doesn't surprise me. The two things are good service and ample portions. And who does love ample portions? <laughs> Chested, I was wondering if you'd like to go on a date with me tomorrow afternoon. I realize you're busy here at the pub at night, so I thought, you know. You mean a date tomorrow? Yeah! There's a cow milking contest at the fair. Unfortunately, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Doctor's appointment? Routine checkup and mammogram. I didn't realize they made x ray equipment that big. 
Chastity, it's advanced. What? You gotta be kidding. Is this some kind of jiggler joke? No, I'm afraid not. Take a look at these x-rays. Well, I know they resemble aerial shots of two hot air balloons, but they're your real McCoys. I can't believe it. What can I do? Doctor, I'm too young to die. I haven't been married. I haven't had children. I haven't reached 50 to get a boob job. Come on, let's talk. I'm afraid there's no hope. Gene therapy's out of the question this late in the game. I knew smoking 90 cigars a day was going to lead to trouble. Now look at me. I'll never smoke again. <laughs> Listen, Doc. I refuse to give up without a fight. Isn't there anything I can do to cure myself? Well, there is a possibility I read about, but it's highly unorthodox. <gasps> orthodox? I ain't Jewish. Spit it out. Pardon me just one second. Hello, Dr. Delacroix here. Ah, nurse. Yes. At about three o'clock today, I'm having a dozen Marines here for physical exams. Tell Dr. Vicki Vixen, Dr. Eve Lorna, and Dr. Edie Tease to be here. No, I don't need them for second opinions. I owe the girls favors. <laughs> Oh, and when I ask the gentlemen to drop their drawers, can you please remind the ladies there'll be no cat calls, whistles, or howls? You remember what happened last time. <laughs> right. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Now, where were we? Oh, uh, I read in the Nationwide Enquirer about an alternative cure in South America. The outer peel of the legendary Crocozilla fruit supposedly possesses miracle healing properties. But of course, there's no proof of this medically. Well, proof or no proof, I'm gonna check it out for myself. I'll temporarily close the pub and I'll fly down there. Then I'll hire some locals to help me search for that Cogazilla fruit or whatever it's called. <laughs> Catch my breath. I, me too, but I'm not from climbing. <sighs> Shove those eyes back into their drunken sockets. Haven't you seen double D's before? Oh, what's the use? We're on a wild goose chase. <laughs> I'll never find that Cogzilla's cock. I mean, Crocozilla's fruit. You mean Crocozilla fruit, missus? Whatever. Mira, un grande boom Amazon. An Amazon woman! No, la Tata tribe! The famous Tatas? Unbelievable! Hi there! Uh, my name is Chastity Knott, K-N-O-T-T, -T, and this is my guy, Ronaldo. Hola! I am Orbs, Lita of the Tatas. You speak English? Yes, we have cable back in the village. Oh, so nice to meet you! What are you doing trespassing on our native land? Trespass? Uh, we meant no harm. I'm here in search of the Croczilla fruit. She means a Croczilla fruit. Oh, you seek the fruit's miracle healing? Yes! I'm, I'm dying. I traveled all the way from America. If I don't receive a cure for my illness, I'm a double D goner. I understand. Follow me. I'll show you. I appreciate your kindness in helping me. Thank you. Please lead the way.
Waldo. This must be it. Looks like Ulf is doing some sort of religious tribal dance. So here's the Krogzilla fruit. Now the inner fruit is bitter, but the outer skin is sucked on and licked. I shall demonstrate. Try this one. Delicious! My mouth is all tingly. Yes, and the nuts are lickable too. Uh. Mm. The big ones are best. Uh. Mm. <laughs> the Krogzilla fruit gives me my superpower. Superpower? The nutrients and vitamins that potent? Yes, I shall demonstrate. Boulders! That must weigh tons! I see what you mean, Orbs! Wake up, Miss Chastity! Uh, she will be all right. The healing property of the fruit has taken effect in her body. She will awaken in a few hours, then can return to her home in America. Oh. <sighs> home sweet home. Boy, what a flight! My globes shook so hard during the turbulence, you'd think they'd arrive before me. Speaking of globes, hmm. oh my gosh, no bumps, no lumps. That magic fruit worked! I'm cured! It's a miracle! Hooters, I got superhuman, superhuman strength. strength. Hmm. Chastity, I'm stunned. God, these new x-rays show that you're cured. I don't know what to say about this. Well, I do. Thank you, doctor. If it wasn't for you suggesting the South American trip, I wouldn't be here. I'm forever grateful. Ah! Oh, that oh. hurt. Oh, sorry about that. I don't know my own strength. Oh, quite all right. Oh, pardon me. Hello, Delacroix here. Oh, hello, Mr. Russ. Still coughing? Okay, well, I'll swing by your house today later and uh, check you out. I have a house call in your neighborhood anyway, and I might as well kill two birds with one stone. <coughs> Oh, don't worry about that cough. You'll be up and about in no time at all. Right. Okay. They're going to have a hell of a time getting that coffin down his stairs. Anyway, your newly acquired superhuman strength must be a side effect from the crocozilla fruit. I have a hunch this will last permanently. You mean I'll possess a superpower for the rest of my life? That's right. Amazing! Orbs acquired the 
same super strength from the same source. Doctor, of course you'll keep this information completely confidential, right? Of course. It's the physician's golden rule. Mom is the word. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I've got a lot to celebrate. I've been given a new lease on life. Hey, where are you going? You in a hurry to leave? Honey, I'm taking the first flight down there. I gotta try out that big, huge fruit for myself. <laughs> Listen, little cousin, everyone here is celebrating my victory, but I'm not mentioning my new superhuman strength. You're the only one I trust and the only one that knows. My lips are sealed, Chastity. Oh, thanks. I'm keeping my superpowers under wraps since the last thing I need is to be looked at as a freak of nature. Well, you're, you're anything but a freak of nature. Surprise! <laughs> Hi, honey bunch! <laughs> It's okay. I ain't got some grip you got there, girl. Baba, this is my little cousin Billy. Uh, how's nice it going? Meeting you. He's the best darn cook in the whole world. You said right. Well, I, I don't know about the world. Maybe Driftwood Valley. Excuse me, I have fish and chips to fry. Nice meeting you. You gonna have a drink? Nah. You run an English pub and you don't drink. I'm more of an English tea and crumpets fan. I have great crumpets. Tell me about it. And no more smoking either. Good for you! Business is booming around here, as usual. Listen, honey bunch, I am so happy to hear that you got cured from that darn day disease. I thought the two of us could go on that date now. How about a little tennis tomorrow afternoon? I'd love to! Oh. It's a deal! <laughs> Good boy! Boy, oh boy, Smokey! I sure am looking forward to my date with Chastity tomorrow. Man, oh man, with that gal's bazooms on my mind, I'll be having pleasant dreams all night long. Night and night. <laughs> I can't wait to taste her sexy milkers. <laughs> Give me a home where the big boobies roam, where the brass and the mammary sway, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, cause a guy's got his mouth full all Ah, 
nice and hot. <sighs> wow, we nothing better than a jacuzzi soak after a game of tennis. Tell me about it. Mm, I'll have to remember to buy some new tennis balls. Baba, behave yourself. This is our first date. Put your suit back on. You're barefoot all over. I said tennis balls, not ball balls. Honey Bunch, I, I have nothing but good intentions. Good intentions alone ain't enough. Human nature is very weak where purity is concerned. We must keep far away from all dangers or sooner or later we'll fall. Dangers? Yes, dangers. Guys like you can fall into sin because they don't avoid the dangers. They go to indecent motion pictures, which are objectionable. They read dangerous magazines and they associate too much with the opposite sex in hot tubs. Then they excuse themselves by saying they don't have bad intentions. Uh, oh! Well, I'll put my suit back on. Thank oh, you. Okay. <laughs>
pumpkins, rockets, offers. Booby! You are more good looking than Zeus. Rule of all the great creatures. How much loot you get? About 50 bucks. Ooga boobies. That's not even enough to buy a double deep bra. Well, here's another night we lost money. Now, what do you ladies have to say about that? Ooga boobies. Now, I heard a method acting, but this is prehistoric lunacy. Can't you say anything other than ooga boobies? Yeah. What? Boobies ooga. You knuckle boobs! Now this business is in big trouble. We're about to go under, see? And you gals will be out on the streets again. Who could be washing dogs and cats? Pirate will be working the docks. And Hydra will be telling fortunes again. You remember how lucrative that was, honey? Great Gorgons, we've been dancing our fannies off, boss. Hey, what else can we do? Drastic measures must be taken. Our only competition is Chastity Knott's English Pub. That pub is a bigger problem than any liquor license or zoning trouble I've ever had in the past. Now, threatening letters to Chastity, not to mention obscene phone calls, ordering her to close down just don't work. We gotta rub her out! I shiver me titty timbers, murderer! There ain't no other choice. With chastity out of the way, your successful pub will close. And all our male customers will be coming back here. And business will be booming again. I should be the only fun bar in town. We'll be on Mount Olympus. Uh, figuratively speaking. Precisely, my buxom beauty. <laughs> Do you mind telling an old sea dog how you plan to kill chastity? Ha! <laughs> I ain't gonna do it. You three are. I'm gonna hold down the fort. You expect us to do your dirty work? <laughs> Relax, I got everything under control. You super stat bra busters will do the job for me tomorrow night. Using the booby bucky. And these. Ooga boobies? What these? Those, my dear, are super handheld weapons. Remember that mad scientist who came in here last week? Well, he traded these for those uh, free couch dances you ladies gave. They're custom made. Ooga boobies. I remember, weird dude. I get it. It'll be as easy as breastfeeding a baby. I hope you're right. <laughs> I love to make you laugh. So much of you has a good time. <laughs> oh, stop it. Oh, what a night. I'm exhausted. You must have raked in tons. Yeah, but half of it will go to charity. Really? Yeah, I feel I owe it to the man upstairs for giving me a second chance at life. Pretty decent of you. Allow me to walk you to your car, ma'am. Thanks. <laughs> Trying to give her a little chronicle smothering. Look out! Move away, honey! A little quick throwing cement should do the trick. Curse the Greek gods, I missed! Baba! Baba, speak to me! Oh, my Baba, my Baba. They figured that scallywag would blunder. I'll give Chastity a ball to play with. A cannonball, that is! Can she jump so high? Booga boobies, we go! Good idea, girls. We blew it. Let's fly. No! Oh! 
Baba! Oh no! Sheriff! I can't believe Baba is dead! They're there now. Get that damn mortician over here! You boob blew the job? Apologies, boss. Ooga boobies. At least I dusted Chastity's boyfriend. He looked my way and I turned him to stone. Who gives two tatas about the boyfriend? I want a Chastity rubbed out! <sighs> no more double D excuses. You three are gonna try again and succeed. I want you to be untoppable. You hear me? I want Chastity out of business permanently. Rest in peace, Baba. I promise to avenge your death and bring those villains to justice. <sighs> Sheriff, two weeks have gone by and your officers haven't come up with anything. I feel as if your investigation is being all fouled up. <sighs> Sorry, Sheriff. Please keep trying. Goodbye. <sighs> the villains, they're too smart for the police. I'll have to take matters into my own hands using my new super skills and strength. But I'll have to disguise my true double D identity. <gasps> I've got it! I'll become the Double D Avenger! So, Billy, that's my plan. Crazy, huh? No, I, I think it's brilliant. The Double D Avenger. Chastity, your secret's safe with me. I can't believe it. My own cousin, soon to be a costume superhero. Now listen, I need you to take care of business here at the pub while I'm out fighting crime. Think you can handle it? Of course. Don't worry about a thing. You can count on me. Excellent! I'm double delighted! <laughs> Nobody will recognize me now. Look out, world! Here comes the Double D Avenger! I'll give those villains a little tip for tack. Girls, your genius boss has come up with an ingenious plan. Can't wait till after lunch. Al, uh, how do you expect us to gyrate our awesome abundance all night on empty stomachs? Ooga boobies. Listen, camels can live for months off the fat in their humps. You capaciously domed gals could do the same for a hundred years. Now get over the chastities in broad daylight. Get going. Shiver me titty timbers. What are you out of your skull? The sheriff and his men will spot us. No, they won't. Because nobody will expect you to attack now. Not the cops or Chastity. The heat's pretty much off since that lame-brained sheriff blew the investigation. Aye, ah, I see what you mean. And if the sheriff and his men do interfere, we can use our special weapons on them. <laughs> Precisely, pirate. Al, oh, you're brilliant. No one is going to suspect us to attack in the middle of the day. Yeah, and once you've done the job, get your little fannies back here. you got lots of dancing to do. When Chastity's pub closed, I'll bet we'll have a very busy, profitable evening tonight. Superhuman strength! Whom in Hades are you? I'm the Double 
the Avenger, and all three of you are coming with me to the Sheriff. What a treat, girls! Stop! You can't escape the Double D Avenger. Bomb will fix her like a lightning bolt from Zeus! Yeah! <laughs> oh, the boobies! We go! I know, Frankie. How dare those monsters put their grubby little fingers all over your fine, brand new suit. Oh, I wish there was some way that we could keep the visitors from touching. I know. I'll electrify the scent. That'll teach them something. Did, did you hear something, Frankie? I, I, I thought I... Uh, where's that sound coming from? Hello? Hello? The... The museum is closed. Huh, where is that sound coming from? <laughs> hey, Frankie, <laughs> you using Chanel number no. five again? Or, I don't know, I think maybe it's a, the restroom was stopped up. Well, I better go get the, the plunger. That was a close one. Hmm. This gives me an idea. Come out, come out, wherever you are. There's no escaping the Double D Avenger. This place gives my Double D's goose pimples. <laughs> Thanks, Zeus! <laughs> You're not so indestructible after all, are you, Double D Avenger? <laughs> Get up, 
teach you to interfere with us. You're going from a double D to an A minus cup. <laughs> <laughs> Have I told Frankie not to jam so much paper in there? Well, what are you doing here? The museum's closed. I better slither out of here. I'll finish you some other time, Dubber D. Oh, 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 bless my bullies! Thank God for my indestructible tits. Oh. Say, I'll have you prostituted for trespassing. There's no need for that, sir. I'm sorry for the trouble. I'm the Double D Avenger, busty costume crime fighter. Criminy? I gotta confess, I've never seen such uh, humongous hooters in my life. I've, uh, I've met many crime fighters in my day uh, and my night, but females are drawn to me like a maggot. I'm sure they are. Sorry, I don't have time to further chat, Romeo. I must apprehend the woman that just left. She's a killer. I'll say she's a killer. She's a bra buster, I'd say. Right. And I must pop out now. Well, pop out like a bowl of popcorn for all I care. You know, there's only Frankie and myself here to, to watch you. And uh, Frankie only goes for uh, wax figures. Doggone it, I lost her. I just took an RTD bus to get here and it scared the living hell out of me! Well, how come? Because I've never driven a bus before! How dare you two desert me! I was nearly captured by the Double D Avenger! Pipe down, Hydra! We used all our secret weapons on her! The blasted things didn't work! Ooga boobies! That's no excuse! I thought the two of you were my bosom buddies! I'll murder you both! <laughs> What is going on here? Save the rest of it for tonight's show. You knockers better knock it off. Break it up. Get the hell off that stage. What's going on? Why are you fighting, huh? Did you finish off Chastity? No, and it's all their fault. What? You boobs blew the job a second time? You lost them guns too, didn't you? Ooga boobies. This time you knuckle tits have had it. It's spanking time. This is gonna hurt you more than it does me. A costume superwoman with double D's. You gotta be kidding. It's all Greek to me. She must have been a friend of Chastity's. When Chastity disappeared, the double D adventure showed up and all her weapons were useless against her. Ooga boobies, superhuman. Somebody up there hates me. Listen, we gotta find a way to kill both Chastity and this so called double D adventure. Relax, Al. You're gonna give yourself another heart attack. I am such a foul mood, I. Why am I in a bad mood? Not only is my business going under because of that pub across town, but my damn herpes blisters are flaring up again. Which one of you protuberant idiots gave me the VD? I could have sworn I 
saw that great villainess somewhere. Ah, oh, there she is. She's an exotic bikini dancer at Al Purplewood's Gentleman's Club. I've got to call the sheriff right away and tell him. Sheriff, would you like a drink? No, thank you. Like I told you, pirate jugs, ooga boobies, and hydra heifer no longer work here. The girls gave me nothing but trouble, so I fired them. And you know nothing of their recent criminal activities against Chastity Knot? Chastity who? Not. Of course not. There's no evidence of the criminals anywhere. I've searched the entire place. You're welcome to continue searching, Sheriff. That's quite all right, Mr. Purplewood. Sorry to have troubled you. No problem, Sheriff. Feel free to drop by any time for a free show. I'm hiring some new dancers tomorrow. <laughs> by this time next month, I'll have 500 topless dancers in here. Well, if that happens, it'll be a thousand pities. Huh? Good day. Secret room. Well, Ooga Boobies, what we do? We're in big trouble. The Double D Avenger ratted on us, but I managed to give the fuzz a slip. I want you to lose your theme costumes for a while, just until the heat's completely off. What about the booby buggy? I hid it behind a phony watermelon stand down the street. It's well hidden. Ooga Boobies, chastity? I'll have to take care of her myself. I'll go over there with a flamethrower and burn the damn pub down. What about the Double D Avenger? She better have a fire retardant bra. <laughs> you know, I wonder if Chastity and the Double D Avenger are one and the same. Thanks for running the pub while I was out fighting crime. No problem. You know, the only thing that bothers me is the sheriff. He's dropped Al Purplewood as a suspect. Hedra Heffer was one of his girls, and so were the other two. Al must know more information than he's telling. I bet you're right. What are you going to do? I'm going to take matters into my own hands once again and do some detective work. I got an idea. The Driftwood Lingerie Stores. Strippers often buy outfits, bras, and panties there. Tomorrow is their big sale. I saw it advertised in the paper I picked up. You gonna conduct a stakeout? To see if those menacing melons show up for the sale? Not me. The Double D Avenger.
recognize the villainous in that crowd. It's like looking for a needle in a hefty haystack. Bingo! There's one of them. Stop right where you are. The barnacles, the double D Avenger. Me pirate fingernails be poisonous darts. <laughs> Slippery as an eel, eh? You'll have to be a lot more clever if you want to nail these double D. I'll die, uh, double D, die! Uh, 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 She's out cold. Call 911. I don't know the number. Pirate was arrested? Yes. I thought I told you big boobs to keep a low profile. What the hell was she doing at that frickin' lingerie store? Ooga boobies, big sale. Big sale? Ha! They don't make bras big enough for you protuberant idiots. Listen, if Pirate spills the beans to the sheriff, we're all through. I must confess to you, Al, Pirate is nothing but a big tittle-tattle. I know. We better do something before she talks. How long will she remain unconscious? The doctor says she should come to in a few minutes. Good. When she does, we'll interrogate her to pieces. Great work, Double D Avenger. The entire Driftwood Valley Police Department is grateful. No problem, Sheriff. That's one cantilever criminal down and two more to go. Right. I'll bet Chastity and I will be thrilled to hear we've apprehended one of the killers. <laughs> I'm sure she will. Oh. Ah, she's starting to wake up. Pirate Jugs, Pirate, this is the Sheriff. You're under arrest and we want answers. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to a titty. I mean, attorney. I'm me head. Where am I? The bottom of Davy Jones' locker? The Double D Avenger! That's me. Pirate, it's all over. Your criminal swashbuckling days are over! You can make this easy or difficult for yourself. I don't know what you be talking about. Yes, you do. The murder of Bubba Olympian and the attempted murder of Chastity Knot. Bubba Olympian, Chastity Knot? I never heard of him. I ain't saying a thing more! Excuse me. The doctor wants the patient to get a little rest. But we're in the middle of an investigation! The doctor says that it must wait. <sighs> Very well. We'll take a five-minute break. Don't even think of going anywhere. We'll be right outside. No! Why, you lily letter! No! What was that? It sounded like a muffled cry. Time for a burial at sea. Pirate's a goner. She's dead. What? There's a weapon. A Stone Age mace? How primitive. Look, sir. An open window. <gasps> I get it. It's like one and one adding up to two. The nurse did it, then she went out the window. <gasps> it was Uga Boobies. Pirate's partners in crime knocked her off before she could spill the beans. Conical cleverness. I suspected that nurse was a little too top-heavy. We'll have to investigate Al Purplewood one more time. Sheriff, please wait. Odds are you and your men won't find anything. Al and his girls are too clever. Please, give me 24 hours. I got a plan. I guarantee I'll bring them to justice. All right, Double D Avenger. But after 24 hours, we'll take over. Fair enough. Double D, if you don't mind my asking, why are you so concerned with this case? Mm, let's just say I have a breasted interest. Good work, Uga. Too bad about Pirate. You know, everything about her was big, including her mouth. Now, I need to hire some replacement dancers until the heat's off. Replacement dancers? Uga boobies! Keep your Double D bras on. It's just for the time being. Now, I got a dancer coming into audition today. She'll be here any minute, so get lost. Go watch TV in the secret room. Maybe there's something on the boob tube. 
<laughs> As you wish, boss. Come along, Olga. Adolfina hit breaks? That's right. You mind putting that knife away? Yeah. Got a problem with that? Of course not. Nice to meet you. What? No German beer around here, huh? Well, you know how it is. Okay. No bullcrap. I want you to know that a professional exotic dancer such as myself never auditions for nothing. I fully understand. But for you, I will make an exception. <laughs> this one time only. Thank you. You wouldn't believe how tough business has been. Not to mention the lack of talented dancers around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get this over with. Turn on this music. That was the best dancing I've ever seen in a bikini bar. You'll be a sensation performing here in my humble establishment. In fact, I could even serve chicken dinners during your act. You're hired. Hold it. Just one moment here. How much you pay? $2.50 an hour. What? I drove all the way out here for nothing? You are full of bullcrap! Du Schweine und du Arschloch! Du Scheißgirl! I'm going to teach you to waste other people's time. But the 250's not including tips. <coughs> oh, my aching chin, my feet, my legs, my cojones. <coughs> Nothing like a mug of lemonade to calm my nerves. Hey, bub, the mission's seven bucks. Of course. Here you go, old chap. You want a drink? Beer? Wine? Lemonade? No thanks, Gub. Uh, I'd say, where are all the dancers? I took an English cap all the way over to watch my favorite birds. Ooga boobies, pirate jugs, and hydra heifer. The girls, unfortunately, are no longer dancing here. What, what, what? No longer dancing at the club? Great Scott, I was going to treat myself to a few hundred private table dances. A few hundred dances? Are you joking? Of course not, old boy. See my lime green Yankee dollars? You got thousands of bucks there. Right, O'Gov, but since my favorite bikini girls are no longer here, I'll spend my currency elsewhere. Hip, hip. Cheerio, I hear there's a smashing English pub across town. Just three nuts. You don't want to waste your time in that dive. Listen, let me ring up the girls. I'm sure Ooga Boobies and Hydra Heifer can swing by the club and do those dances for you. 
I'd say you think they do that for little old me? Certainly. Stay right where you are. I'll be right back. Oka Hydra, get out of the secret room on the dump. Come on, let's go. You're slower than new to climbing a barbed wire fence. How did that audition go? Hey, what happened to you? You look like Hercules after one of his great battles. A fat old Hercules, that is. <laughs> you heard bad? You ever hear of somebody hurt good? Ooga boobies. Need something to bite on? Never mind about that now. Some sucker wants table dances from you guys and he's loaded. Ooga boobies. Another drunk. No, he's not loaded with booze. He's loaded, loaded. Are you sure it's safe? Sure, I'm sure. I see rich rackles like him in here all the time. Now get moving. Whoa. Oh, I'd say I ain't half surprised. That was fast. Sir, this is your lucky night. Just as I was about to make the call, who walks in through the back door but Hydra Heifer and Ooga Boobies? Say hello, girls. Ooga Boobies? An English beef eater? You men really eat beef? Ha! Oh, how disgusting! I'm strictly a vegetarian. Spiritual progress demands that we cease killing our fellow creatures for the satisfaction of our bodily wants! Ha ha ha! She's just kidding. Tell you what, why don't you hand over all your cash now? That way you can enjoy your dances without financial interruptions. No, Gov. I've got a more splendid idea. I'm beginning to see double! Holy transformation! It's the Double D Avenger! The Double D Avenger! That's right! The Double D Avenger! You're all going to jail! That explains the lousy accent! I've been Double D Double Crossed! You betcha, Al! Time for a little tit for tat! curdles milk, right? It must also curdle the blood of Double D Avenger. Look, she's having a toxic allergic reaction. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, that'll teach her. The Double D Avenger's faith is sealed. Ooga <laughs> boobies, our kitty's here. Quick, we gotta get out of here. The sheriff and his men may come in in any second. So long, Double D. It's been nice knowing. Ha <laughs> ha! I guess lemon juice is one substance that weakens my superpowers. Now, and the girls, they're gone! I can't let them escape!
tail. Oh yeah? Well, how does she like that? <laughs> Holy hooters! Bree has starring poo poo! Oh, oh I, I heard of being stuck in the tar pit. This crap is ridiculous! Thank you once again for all your help, Double D. Al and his girls confessed to everything. I was glad to help, Sheriff. A superhero such as myself feels obligated to take an active part in good citizenship because the right reason requires superheroes to work for the public welfare of the country. Ta-ta. Ta-ta's. I mean, ta-ta. Ooga boo-hoo boobies! <laughs> you shut up! It looks like we'll be spending a lot of time behind bars. And I don't mean strip joint bars. Boo-hoo! <laughs> How'd you like your head? One lump or two? When do you think we'll be paroled out? When your double D's hang down past your toe! <laughs> Well, all's well that ends well. Sort of. What do you mean, sort of? The Double D Avenger did an awesome job. I know. I just miss Baba. The whole experience has given me um, a well-rounded education, so to speak. And from now on, I have to stay away from lemons. I understand. At least there'll be no more trouble from Al and his girls. Right. Billy... I'm due for a vacation. I think it's time for me to let it all hang out and relax. And the next time there's trouble in town, 
the Double D Avenger will give those perpetrators a little tit for tat.